Let's get to it, everyone. As at this time of this program, yesterday, this building we're about to show you was intact, standing with flags and every other thing in place. Today, this is what is left of the building. It was taken down at the middle of the night. The structure belongs to the factional secretariat of uh, the Kaduna State Chapter of the All Progressive Congress APC, located along number 11B, Stambul, in the state capital, Kaduna. The faction is a state that announced the suspension of Kaduna State uh, Governor, Mr. Mala, Mr. Nasir Erufai. What I wish to say in very few words, I am here not for the fact that the demolition exercise affecting one of my properties has personally in any way afflicted me. No. But I'm here to share and express concern on the medium of utilization of power under our very hard-earned democracy. I will say it very clear here that in the last two and a half years, we have been faced with tyranny and open dictatorship in Kaduna State. My constituency office was attacked by violent talks more than 11 times. And it has also been very clear that our military policemen, our military personnel and policemen have been consistently been used by the governor to intimidate and harass people who don't agree with him. Well, the Director General, Kaduna Geographical Information Service, Kegis, says the demolition has no political motive. According to the government agency, a notice of uh, revocation of certificate of occupancy on the property was duly served on the owner in line with the government's ongoing land use reform, stating that the building was pulled down for flagrant violation of land use law and non-payment uh, ground rent since 2000. And 10. Well, let's get to the issue tonight on the program. Joining me from our Buja studio is a man who understands uh, what happens in the National Assembly. He's been there before. Honorable West Idaosa is a lawyer and a policy and governance expert. Side by side with him is also a regular analyst on the program, a lawyer, a member of the uh, London's Lincoln Inn. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Daniel Buala and Honorable Westy Dowser for your time on the program tonight. Let me begin with you, um, Honorable Westy Dowser. Uh, you also understand the, uh, the internal politics of the APC. As it stands right now, when you see buildings, factional offices being pulled down in the middle of uh, 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 the reconciliation process put in place by the president, headed by former governor of Lagos State, Bola Tinubu. What do you think these uh, has gone to, this crisis, perhaps, the one in Kaduna State? Well, I think it is um, the end times for the party. It's showing clearly that the party was built on sand and not on rock. You can imagine a situation where an intra-party crisis can lead to this uh, level of cruelty. You do not tell us that uh, because there's a political difference and uh, a building has gone down and then suddenly a geographic service comes up to say that the building had, uh, had some infraction, infraction situation to deal with and of course that there had been some outstanding grand rain. I mean, it's unthinkable the extent to which political intolerance has grown in our country. So I imagine that Tinubu's assignment is uh, cut out for him. Yeah, he's going to have a very tall order uh, in having to deal with this situation. And uh, I sympathize with him. But as for the APC, I'm afraid that it might be that they came together uh, to get power. Now they have power. They simply don't know what to do with it. That's where we are right now.